Sometimes having too much data that you don't know what to do with can be as much of a challenge as not having any data at all. And in an industry that runs on data, it can be easy to get lost in all of the data input and output that comes through your fleet on a day-to-day -day basis. Welcome to Understanding Fleet Data, a series where we tackle different sources of data and how to best leverage them within your fleet management system. Today, we'll look at asset usage data, where to find it, its role in proactive fleet management, and how to use it to improve your fleet operations. So, where do you find asset usage data? Let's start with telematics data. Telematics devices take in a lot of vehicle data, and there are a few key points you can use to assess utilization. The first point to look at is engine run hours and odometer readings are the easiest metrics to collect and use to assess how much time your assets engines are running as well as how far they're traveling day to day. The second is true and operational idle time can help you keep track of idling behaviors that might be prematurely aging your vehicles with underuse. The third is power takeoff hours can show the usage of the equipment of your vehicle's power. And last, fuel consumption data can establish a baseline for fuel efficiency. And over time, you can see when vehicles begin consuming more fuel than their operation is worth. The next place to find asset usage data is connecting to your vehicle's API. While telematics devices communicate with or retrieve data from a vehicle's ECM by way of the OBD port, some newer vehicles don't even have these ports. Connecting vehicles through API will allow fleets to remotely access vehicles' data directly from that vehicle without the use of third-party devices. This mode of monitoring could offer things like vehicle tracking, fuel economy, remote diagnostics, driver safety, and usage data. The technology may still be in the early stages, but connecting to a vehicle's API may be the path of the future, as the data collected is set to match the scope of telematics including usage data. So now that we talked about where to find it, what do you do with asset usage data? Now tracking this data helps you quickly discern if assets are being over or underutilized so that you can address that issue with a variety of solutions, like spreading out utilization across different assets, right sizing your fleet by either selling off underused vehicles or purchasing new ones, optimizing your routes, and a lot more. Asset usage is also a significant data point when looking at your overall fleet utilization. Now, fleet utilization is a great KPI to show your higher ups when you're positioning for new fleet assets so you can validate your needs for a bigger fleet. And if you want more tips on managing your fleet data, check out the rest of our Understanding Fleet Data series for more ways to capitalize on the abundance of data at your fingertips.